Hello friends, I hope you're doing well. My name is Oshina, I'm glad that you're here. I had like a really good day at work today, so I'm just feeling in a really good mood. So I'm gonna capitalize on this positive energy and film this video. So I am slowly losing my voice though. I have a very weak voice, unfortunately, and so I happen to work in a job where I talk all the time, and so my poor voice, but here we go. So this is my spring video. I've seen quite a few people that I follow doing spring TBRs, spring recommendation videos, and I want to throw mine in the mix as well. So thank you for watching this. If you've already seen a lot of spring videos, I appreciate you watching mine. And what I'm going to do is combine three videos into one. So we'll see how this goes. I want to talk about my most anticipated spring releases, um, some recommendations for spring reads, and then my TBR for spring as well. So there's going to be three things happening in this video. So I'll put timestamps for you to skip around if you would like. But yeah, I'm excited to share these books. Some of them I have already and then some aren't even out yet. So I will show a picture and I look forward to sharing this with you. So I'm going to start with the new releases because there are some juicy good ones coming out. I can, I'm so excited. And so I would say that all of these new releases that I'm sharing are also going to be on my TBR. So just expect that. Um, I'm very excited. And I tried to like make a cute little spread for it. So I'm excited. Okay. New releases. Number one, April 1st, which is coming. And this is not April Fool's. It's serious. There's two releases coming that I am so anticipating. <laughs> okay. First one, Love in Tandem by Becca Kinzer. <sighs> okay. Becca Kinzer is the author too. Oh, you already know. Okay. This is making the rounds on booktube and I'm very happy about it. Dear Henry Live, Love Edith is Becca Kinzer's debut with Tyndale and she has a new release coming out called Love in Tandem. Stinking cute cover. I love the font. Love the font. Um, so I'm very excited about this. I hummed and hawed about it like but I decided to request the ARC and I was approved. So I did get an early copy of this book as an ebook, so I'm going to try to read it before it releases. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I would like to read it and then I want to buy it if I like it. So I really hope that I like it. We're highly anticipating this one. I really hope that it's not a letdown, but we'll see. So then after that, on the same day, according to my research, I don't know if this is true, but like this is what the internet tells me. Um, powerful by Lauren Roberts is also coming out April 1st. I am also very excited about this book. This is a novella that comes after, do you guys already know? Powerless. And just holding this book and looking at it, I'm like, should I read this again? Yes, okay? <laughs> if you don't already know, I'm gonna link my favorites video down below and my reading vlog. I did make a whole special reading vlog for this book. It was a great time, so go watch it. And there is a novella coming out April 1st called Powerful about a certain character. You probably, I mean, it'll be in the description. So the main character in this book, her best friend has a novella called Powerful coming out April 1st. I'm so excited. For sure we'll be reading it. And yes. It's going to tide us over until Reckless comes out, okay? And I will for sure be reading Powerless again before Reckless comes out. <sighs> you guys. So yeah, powerful. Very excited about it. Okay, day after that. Um, super random day. Don't know why this is a thing, but April 2nd. Okay, The Rule Book by Sarah Adams. Now, um, the rule book is the companion sequel to the cheat sheet. It follows one of the team members that you met in the cheat sheet. He gets a romance now. And I am anticipating this book because this is going to make or break me for Sarah Adams because she's taking her content in a direction that I will not be comfortable reading. The cheat sheet is closed door. The rule book is going to have an open door chapter and she's going to make it skippable. So I do plan to do that and I've requested it for the library. So I'm not going to buy this book. I'm going to read it from the library and then we'll see. It's just too bad because I really do like her writing style, but the content is the biggest thing. 
So that comes out April 2nd, okay? Um, next, April 23rd is Darling Girls by Sally Hepworth. Very excited about this. I have just been loving Sally Hepworth's writing and this is her latest release coming out. It follows sisters and a mother relationship. So she just writes family dynamics so well in my opinion. So I definitely am curious about this one. I haven't really heard any early reviews on it yet. So I don't know much about it. Really love the cover though. And if I can get my hands on it, I will. So I'm definitely anticipating that one. And then lastly in April, there's a lot of April releases that I am interested in. April 30th is The Roads We Follow. And I do have an early copy of this, so I will be reading and reviewing it before it releases. And I hope that I like it. I gave the first book, this is like a companion series sequel to The Words We Lost. <laughs> and so yeah, this is the sequel to it. I definitely liked Nicole Deese's other books more but I was curious enough that I decided to request an early copy so I'm going to be reading The Roads We Follow. And then the last spring release that I'm interested in is coming out May 7th and it's A Run at Love by Tony Shiloh. Um, this I don't have an early copy of so I'm just going to wait until it comes in the library or I mean yeah that's about it and we'll see because it is also a companion sequel to the love script so I definitely want to check this out because I really do love Tony Shiloh's books but I'm just trying to limit how many books I have that I'm requesting so so there's the new releases I'll write them all down below with their release dates and if you want to pre-order them I guess go for it so now let's do my TBR because it's just a continuation of the recommendations so a lot of these are going to be from the library but I'll show you the ones that I I own. So first up I want to continue finishing all of Rachel Fordham's books so I have yours truly Thomas here and I, I'm just excited to read her books now. From now on she writes in a way that I really connect with and I tend to really like the way she writes relationship dynamics so I'm excited about this one. This is technically set in the same world as The Hope of Azure Springs so I'm excited about that. It is set in Azure Springs I think and I think you've met the girl that this follows. Penny, was she in this? Anyway, so I'll look forward to seeing some characters I recognize. And so this is definitely gonna be read in the spring. Okay, next I have Keep Holding On by Melissa Tagg. I think I've mentioned this before, but this is the only Melissa Tagg book that my library has physically. So random, because I'm pretty sure this is book three in like a companion series. I don't care, I'm gonna read it <laughs> because Melissa Tagg is the author too the Autumn by the Sea trilogy and loved this first book so now I really want to read um, anything else that I can. I am planning to save the rest of the trilogy for the fall time because they just give me fall vibes. I mean this one has snow on the cover and then this one is nothing I guess but like yeah and then this one was fall so it seems like they follow like a fall to winter to spring maybe so I don't know. I don't really care to read seasonally but I guess this time I do. But I want to give this a read. I haven't really heard anything about this book, but um, we'll see if I can like maybe all of her books or if it's only the Autumn by the Sea book. And then also, I have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. And this book, you can kind of see that it's like in rough shape. And so the library gave it to me once again. I get this a lot. Like, I'll just like request a book from the library and then I'll go to pick it up from the hold shelf and it'll have a little ticket in it that says keep this book and I'm like okay free book yes please so I now have my own copy of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder so I hope that I like it okay and th man I I don't know um I've heard like pretty good things about this trilogy and I think it's a tv show as well or maybe it's becoming one so yeah this is young adult mystery and I mean, now I have this book, so now I can read it whenever I want. So kind of no pressure now to pick it up anytime soon, but yeah, it's fun to have. So there you go. Okay, books that I don't have here yet. Next is The Housemaid's Secret by Frida McFadden. Um, I should get it in this season. There are a lot of holds on it, but I think I'll be able to get it soon-ish. I think I'm like number 20 of 40 or something, so I'll get it eventually. So yeah, I definitely want to continue that. And then what else? Um, you Belong With Me by Terry Ferris. Been meaning to read this. It's the start of a trilogy. I haven't really heard much about it, but 
still it's a Christian author that I want to try and then From This Moment by Kim Vogel Sawyer is also on my radar. I think she writes some historical fiction but this one looks contemporary to me so I want to give it a try because I've never read from this author before. So that's my spring TBR. Um, this is just pile of possibilities once again but yeah I'm excited about that. So let's do recommendations. I just have a small little pile because again this video is like three videos in one but I've gone through it pretty quick so I feel good about that. So let's do it. So you've already seen, you know, um, Dear Henry Love Edith. I just think that if you like humor and like funny townspeople, like kind of crazy, silly situations, good faith, good romance, that's what this book is. And it's just a good time. And it's so springy because it's yellow. So highly recommend that one. And then also, I mentioned this one already, The Love Script by Tony Shiloh. Definitely recommend this one, especially if you want to read A Run at Love. Um, great time to start this series. And this is like basically not really set in any season so you could just read it whenever. So this one has a lot of good faith content. Um, it definitely is a little bit cheesy in the romance department but truly the faith content is unmatched um, compared to other Christian fiction so that's what really stands out about it and I just had like such an enjoyable experience reading this and it's just like fun because it's like a celebrity story and you know it's just a good time so yeah I would definitely recommend this one especially to read the sequel coming out in May. Okay this is spring inspired The Promise of Rain by Nicole Deese. Well actually this is more summer then whatever <laughs> okay I just thought of rain and I was like yes okay so you follow this girl named rain and they are actually living where there's a bit of a drought there's a serious drought and there's wildfires happening so everyone is like afraid of ev having to evacuate because of a fire there's that kind of setting going on but then there is such a sweet romance it's um romeo and juliet inspired it's like an interesting mystery around this girl's family and just the sweetest romance it gave me a really good vibe so it'd be a great spring summer read okay and then this one this one is for a particular person. So this is Everyone is Beautiful by Catherine Center. First of all, spring cover, come on. Totally a spring cover. But next, I would say that if you like to read kind of, in a way, midlife crisis slash coming of age stories where you're really, you're following this woman, she's married, she has three little boys, and she's feeling lost in herself as a mother and a wife. And so you follow her journey of like rediscovering herself. And I just thought it was really well done. Um, it definitely has some more adult content talked about, like she's married. They talk about what married life entails, but it's not in a derogatory way and there's no details involved. But I just was very inspired by this book. I found it entertaining and I just really enjoyed myself. I don't read these kind of books very often, so I think it also stands out for that. This is like true women's fiction, I would say and I just was really impressed with it and it's like a cute short little book so I had a great time I would recommend it and plus it is literally beautiful and then just for like a fun wild card I'm throwing in this duology so this is Casey West's like first ever published book I'm pretty sure Pivot Point and Split Second this is a duology and it's so good so I will tell you what this is about so Pivot Point is the first book you follow where there is a secret society of humans that have special mind powers and they like live in this like s s kind of secluded town I guess in the US where they can you know live out their powers without being discovered by normal humanity and like turned into science experiments so but and the government knows about it so the government you know helps them stay quiet and keep secret and so you follow this girl whose power is that she can see into her own future and I forget how long maybe no okay she can see into her what her wait okay so anytime she has to make a decision she can see what her future will look like if she makes the decision in a certain way so she can see every future possibility of her own depending on what decision she makes but she can decide to do it it's not like it hop happens automatically the setup is that her parents are getting a divorce and they ask her which parent she wants to live with the mom is staying in the town the dad is moving out so he's joining normal human society and he's going to pretend to be a normal human and so this book alternates chapters of what would have happened if she stayed with her mom or if she stayed with her dad 
and it is so well done it's so entertaining and of course there's a romance in it which is so great and she has a best friend that you really get to know as well and the best friend is the main character in the second book but the, it clearly follows a progression you have to read them in order but it was so well done so entertaining i loved the like superpower aspect of it and i just thought it was great so not really spring but really entertaining and a quick little young adult sci-fi ish to get into and i would highly recommend so there you go check them out so there's my spring video you guys thank you for watching i so appreciate you guys being here and i'm just i'm just loving it i'm loving my channel lately i'm loving my videos thank you for all of the support you guys i appreciate you so much and just all of the new subscribers that are coming on if you're watching this i really appreciate you thank you for being here i'm always open to um, suggestions and video ideas and any ways I can improve my videos if you see something that you're like oh I wish she filmed this way or I wish she did something I don't know um, if you can think of anything I'm open to suggestions um, just be kind about it but I just love you know growing and learning with you guys and you're just so wonderful in that way to me so thank you so much and I will write all of the books down below that I discussed and if I have any videos related to these books I'll write them down below or I'll, I'll link them down below too and yeah once again thanks for being here you guys I'll see you in the next one bye